You guys know that I am not a girl, but I have a picture of a girl here. Let's try to fix that because, yeah, I want my picture here. So <laughs> let's come back here and let's, uh, first of all, let's just close all these windows. It can get really crowded in here when we're doing so many things, right? All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's go to... Right now, let's see what we got here. We have, so our images are hooked into the, we have a same link because we did storage colon link and we are getting that from here, right? That's where we're getting our images from. They're not actually here, but they, there's a shortcut. But anyway, so we need to have a control, we need to be in a controller, the user's controller to be able to play around with images, right? So, that's the controller open. Let's open our routes because we don't have a route to for our profile. And let's also get the profile, the view, the profile view in here. All right, so I think we got everything we need. Okay, perfect. So in here we have an input of type file, our form, it's multi-part form data, so that's great. Here we are. We're just gonna say, well, this is gonna be some type of avatar, okay? And we need to make a route for this. So, and the route, if you think about it, the route is going to be to update, right? So we need to change it to put and here we are going to update our profile update it's gonna go to an update method and user profile update right okay so let's make the method profile function well public function update and we are gonna be updating a user of course Okay, so first of all, I want to check to see if the request has an avatar, right? I want to check that out because I don't want to. So if we have an avatar, I want to see it. Okay. Now, another thing that we need to do in our form, of course, is make sure that here we got an, we have another directive, remember, that's going to be called put, like that. And our action needs to take us to that URI. So, user, profile, update. And the second parameter here would be the user, right? So let's come back here, submit it, and let's submit button is type submit or something. Let's see if it works. Type submit, method post, user profile update. Profile update, take take us there. Okay, is a put request. Okay, submit. Okay, that's because I don't have any images there, right? Okay, I just put an image in my computer, in this computer that I'm using, and I'm just gonna do that, and submit. So. I am missing something here very obviously update so that's a put request we are getting that user hell it would be nice to have the user ID in there submit 
Uh, do, 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 do. Name. Oh, let me spell this. Jeez. Come on. Come back here. There we go. Alrighty. So now, yeah, we have the avatar. We're just going to come back here and, and try to validate this form. So I'm going to come back here and say, well, I'm going to be using the request where to validate, and I'm going to set some rules here. Okay. Well, let's make sure we finish this. So we want to make sure that the username Well, let's just do it up here. It is required. Okay. We want to make sure it is a string. Same thing we have in that register controller. Make sure that the mats is 255 characters. I think we put it a string type. So I think that's the mats for that. Alpha dash. Just like that. Okay, and if we wanted to make a unique, we can pass some type of rule here. So we can take that class, static class, and use a method called unique. You can look it up and make sure that we make it unique in our, in our table. But we already did that, right? We already did that in migration, so it's going to be unique anyway. So... Let's come back here and we can do the username. Now, you, I'm not going to be typing this. I'm not going to let you watch me type this. I'm going to do it really fast because it makes no use. So I'm going to pause the video and come back. All right. So I fixed this a little bit. You can see that actually, sorry about that. Let me just put that here. So yeah, that looks all right, right? So the email, we're gonna make sure it is an email and that it also is confirmed. Remember that we have that password confirmation value for the name attribute in that input field. So this is where that comes into place. That confirmed is gonna make sure that we have that those two fields confirmed. Uh, Okay, it's going to take care of that field. And let me show you what I mean. If you go to the user profile, view this password confirmation right here, it's going to make sure it's the same one as the password input here, right? So that's great. And the avatar, we're going to make sure it's a file. If you want it to be a specific file, you can just do this, JPG, I think, or JPEG and then pass a PNG like this if you like. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it open because I, I'm just gonna be able to take any file here. So once we have the inputs here, this inputs, then we're gonna grab the user and we're just gonna call the update method, just like that. Okay, and we're gonna pass in those inputs. Simple as that. Now I do, I'm checking to see if I have an avatar here because if we don't have it, we don't need to update it. So if we do have an avatar, what I'm going to do is in this inputs, I'm going to add the request to this inputs array. I'm just going to call it avatar. I'm going to add that request of avatar there. And at the same time, what we're going to do is we are going to do the same thing we did with the post, I believe. We're going to store it. And we are going to store it in the, um, where is it? Is in the folder called images, just like that. Okay, I think that's gonna work. And of course we want to redirect maybe back to that view. Or maybe to somewhere else you want to redirect. It's up to you. Let's check this out real quick and see if it works. 
uh -huh, Rico Suaves and it looks like it's not working. Let's see if I change my name. If that works, doesn't work. Let's come back here. Oh, validation is not going coming through probably for some reason. So we need to look at it here. Okay. So let's actually show validation here and see if it's failing some, some validation here. I think the password field it's required here. No, uh, we're not doing anything with the password. We should, right? So we just do password here and we're going to make sure that the password is maybe a minimum of sets characters maximum oh you know what i confuse this two feet i confuse that field the email should not this should be here as a matter of fact that's what probably was failing okay sorry about that guys let's make sure that the mats here is 255 so let's see, let's try this again. Circle Suave, Submit. All right, so it's failing one of those and we're gonna find out what they are by putting these arrows here on this form. So let's play a little bit with it. So um, let's play ar around with it a little bit. I'm gonna start in username here. So right in the form group, I'm gonna create a Use a directive code error. And here we're going to say, well, if I get an error called username, make sure you close that directive and error like that. So if I get that error, I'm going to get a diff with an alert. And I'm going to, we're going to look at some classes later, but just to get us started, we can just say alert here, danger, and we're just gonna, we have access to this message variable here. So we submit and we get some type of error for using it, we would see it in there. So I'm gonna get the same thing to the name, changes for name. Same thing for the email. Same thing for password. And password confirmation. Confirmation. All right, submit, and you can see now that the password confirmation is failing. Okay, so that's the one that's failing. That's why our form was not able to update. So let's come back here to the controller and we can see that the password here needs to be confirmed. Okay, but I don't wanna to have to submit a password every time I update my user, right? So let's go back it up here. And we can see this right here. Okay. So we have the password. And every time it says it must be at least six characters. I'm not putting anything there. Okay. But it's still asking me to. There we go. Oh, right there again. Come back here. Let's just take the validation for password for now. My computer is playing tricks on me. And there we go. Let's update Rico Suave to Rico Suaves. And you can see now that it's working 100%. All right. So let's update this. Now, if I were to put this there like that and I try to submit, you can see now that it says the username field is required. 
Yeah, so this has been a long lecture, but listen, if you want to make this a little prettier and you're using Bootstrap 4, now instead of displaying the arrows like this, we can go to the class right here. Okay, so we can break this down a little further. Uh, I don't like the way that looks there. I'm gonna, well, we can modify this, but I'm just gonna put it here so you can see it. So we can, right here with Blade, we can just say, hey, I wanna access the errors. And if it has a class, well, if it has an error of username, right? Then I want to display is invalid. I think that will work. If not, don't display anything. Let's see if that will work. Let's come back here. If I don't get anything here and submit, you can see the red lines around. That's great, but this is ugly right here. So let's fix that instead of giving it this alert danger, we can just say, uh, what is it called? Invalid feedback. Okay, thank you, IDE. <laughs> Let's come back here. And that looks so much better, right? So behind the scenes, I'm going to replace all of them to, to have the same functionality. So you should do the same. Now, before you go ahead and do that, I'm going to show you a better way. Instead of using these errors that's available to us, Okay, and by the way, when you're using these errors, you're also going to have the message here. It's the same thing, but we have a directive here. Instead of using this functionality like this, we can actually do it a little cleaner, believe it or not. We can just say, well, you know, I like to display my directive inside here like this. And I can say, well, if the username Okay, if the username is there, I want to display the invalid class it um, class. And then I'm going to close and not roll and <laughs> error. Just like that. Let's see if that would work, right? Because let me see errors, username, it's invalid. All right. Let's come back here and the same thing. If you like this way, I think it looks a lot better. You're welcome to use that, of course. Okay, I think we're done. We're not gonna do any more of this one here. So, and you can even divide this a little more and just have it like this. So go ahead and do that to the rest of the inputs. All right, on my end, I'm gonna do that behind the scenes later. But now before we go, um, you know, the whole reason why I started creating all these functionalities is because I wanted to see my picture here, right? So yeah, that hasn't been working yet. So I'm gonna go to make sure that we update this image tag here with the user avatar. Right? Of course, that's not going to work because we don't have any avatars yet. We don't have anything in the database yet. Now, even if we upload it, it's not going to work because we need to go to the user model and make sure that in our fillables here, we have that available. So avatar, there we go. Let's go to the user controller. And yeah, we are storing that but it's it was not going to work unless we did what we did just now so let's submit it and now if we come and try to see this we got something there yeah we got our images but it's the path is not right so we not we we, we need to do what we did for the post model here we need to do this guy here to the user model. We need to get an accessor working there. Very similar, we just have to change the name to say get avatar attribute. And now if I refresh, voila, 
we got your handsome instructor right there. Anyway, this lecture has been really long. I think we got it right. All right, we got some of these fields working. We got some validation going on here. Super cool. If you guys liked it, great. See you in the next lecture, guys, and I hope you can use this for your projects. Take care.